Hey there, Simi Into It here. Okay, I've got an update video to show you some really cool features I found on my Echo Show. Now my software has been updated to the latest firmware. So right now I've got two Echo Shows here. One of them's been updated, the other one hasn't. The one on the right has been updated with the latest firmware. The one on the left is still pending its update. So what you can do now if you've got the updated version of the software, the firmware, is this. Alexa, open Firefox. Here is Firefox. At which point you get three icons. One's Wikipedia, one's YouTube, one is search with Google. Now I've checked these out and these are pretty cool. Um, the search with Google allows you to do a Google search. So you can you know, put something in, you can type in a web address or you can type in, for instance, my name's Simeon Tuit. and do a Google search. So you can search information on things you might wanna check out. So just search my name, Simeon to it. As you can see, it pulls up Google results. And then you can do things like check out my website. Now, one of the things I noticed when checking out my website was the first time I did this, it opened up the mobile browser version of my website and I think it might do that for most sites it will show you the mobile optimized version of the site because I wanted to see the full page I went to the desktop version of my website so I could see that instead because that's really what I wanted to see on my echo show but if it does default to you know a mobile version of the website then quite simply just go to the full version now, one thing I did notice about this was, let's go back to my website. Alexa, open Firefox. Alexa, open Firefox. Here is Firefox. Now, because I already have my web page open, if you say open Firefox again, it's not going to open it again. So at first, it's really puzzled me until I realized these little, you know, four little icons at the top, tap that takes you back to your options. So you've got, you know, search with Google, YouTube, Wikipedia, and then you can do another search. But if you've already got this open, it's not gonna open it again, or it's not gonna take you back to the beginning of, you know, um, of the app. So with YouTube, it's not the greatest experience for searching because you can't voice search or anything like that, but it's better than nothing. So again, you tap the search button, let's type in my name again. Send me into it to find some of my videos. Hit go, as you can see, pulls up the results. And then you can check out the videos. I've not actually checked out any yet, so let's just hit this one just here. Okay, the Echo Connect is now available in the UK. Alexa, Alexa, pause. Well, last night, and Alexa, pause. December 2017. So as you can see, you can't pause it, you can't play it, you can't use no voice control features by using the website through this, but it's better than nothing, you know. So go back to the four icons in the top, you know, the four little boxes, hit that, you can go and check out whatever else you want to check out. But like I say, you know, here's a browser now for the Echo Show. Long overdue, but it's actually here. Now... The thing that I want to show you this is at the top where you usually pull down and you get your settings, there's now smart home features. So as you can see, Alexa, kitchen light red. Okay. So I've turned the kitchen light red and as you can see on the screen, it's actually showing the kitchen, Alexa, kitchen light off. Okay. And whatever action I perform or say to the Echo Show is now being shown on the screen. So that's pretty cool. Unless you're actually doing something like watching a security camera, in which case that'd be quite annoying that a smart home notification like this, Alexa kitchen light on. Okay. Has just popped up and taken over it. Let's try that out. In fact, Alexa show the front garden. 
Alexa, show the front garden. Okay. Yeah, let's check this out while we're doing this little video. Let's wait for it to start streaming and then I'll change the kitchen light colour and we'll see if one of those smart home features pops up on screen. In fact, let's try it now. Uh, Alexa, kitchen light blue. Okay. Yep, it does. Now that's annoying, so I'm going to have to see if I can turn that off in the settings because if you are like me and you want to have one of your devices constantly streaming, you know, your front garden or your front door, you do not want to have, you know, these notifications kind of popping up telling you what light's been turned on and off, interrupting the feed. So we'll go back to the top of the screen, pull it down. As you can see, you've got lights, so you can hit that and you can control any of the lights in your house. So you can scroll down and check out your different groups and everything that you've got there. You know, we're in the kitchen right now. If we tap the kitchen and turn it off, the kitchen lights just turned off. If you can see, turn it back on. You can turn the downstairs light on. Anything you've got set up in your groups, you can control now from one of these screens, which is really cool. You can even control your routines so you can check those out. So in a sense, this um, makes it so you don't really have to interact with the Alexa app as much anymore to do these things if you wanted to you know, change settings. I'm not sure if you can set up the routines. I'm not going to mess about with that at the moment. Um, you can mess about with your alarms. You know, You can set those from here. I'm not sure if it's the alarms for just this device or another device. You know, you can check that out when you get this update. Okay, this is just a quick follow on video because I found something that you might find useful. Earlier I showed you that you can do a, a search on Google by typing in whatever it is you're searching for. I completely missed the big microphone button that allows you to just basically use your voice. So, send me into it. So as you can see, it's typed in my name, hit done, it does a Google search for you. So a lot quicker than typing in anything. You can do the same thing for a search using the YouTube shortcut. So again, hit search, send me into it. Again, there's my name, hit search, pulls up all my videos. So I thought I'd just quickly tag this onto the video that I've just recorded. Now you can do yourself some Google searches and some searches with YouTube by using your voice. So no typing required. Thanks for checking out the video. 